Hi, Mark Savage here. With a cup of tea. Some of you have been asking, where have I gone? <laughs> and I've been trying to squeeze in my shed. You may notice there's lots of crap. I had a bereavement in the family. I've been sorting that out. So I filled my shed up full of crap. Um, which I'm slowly getting through. Okay, little, really, really quick one today. Um, I have a new motor, and that's something yummy, doing a really big production. Please watch it, you'll enjoy it. Right, I had a few trolls, I mean um, YouTubers, who tried to say, when I did this little video here, about if you have a ridiculously sized exhaust like this, it may sound like a bigger bike to that person. Everyone else is going, oh, that sounds like a noisy 125. They need back pressure. Now, some hmm, person, you don't know what you're talking about, mate. My 600cc bike's a single and I've got whatever rubbish. I don't really care, mate. I'm just saying from my experience, okay? Many, many, many hundreds and hundreds of bikes. Anyway, this is the black hole of Kel Cutter in here. I mean, shh, ridiculous. Got a little reducer on it. Looks good. I'd say it looks good. And when you're revving it a little bit, don't sound too bad. But the bloody bike won't start. Now, here's a quick clip of me after, oh, must have been 10 minutes yesterday, constantly turning it over, having to get another power pack on it and charging it up and then going again. I got it started. Listen. Yes, my beard is getting quite long. I'm not going for the Santa look. It's not quite white enough yet. It's all got a ginger look to it. I was a ginger. Okay, I have put on this today the original exhaust. I just wanted to prove my to myself, really, and I know what I'm talking about. Not all the time. So you can't have these on here. There is the original exhaust. Little scratch on it. However, it will run a lot, lot better. And it will start a lot, lot better. Someone asked me this morning whether these derbies actually have a fuel gauge. They don't. They've just got a tiny little petrol light. I've always moaned at the Jexas for that. I love them. But you just panic a little bit when you first get the bike. You know you can do 100 miles and you start wanting to fill up. And I have this with Ducati and the RT as well. Um, you see the fuel gauge stays up for ages and it quickly goes down and you start thinking can I get 180 miles out of this tank? You know, they say that 200 litres in the tank or 26 litres and so on and every time you're panicking near the bottom you get to the garage and you still, it says you've got 4 litres left in the tank. Just, I think it's natural. These do not have a petrol gauge, just a little light. Now, does it start? Freezing cold, I just want to be real with you to say I've just stuck this exhaust on compared to yesterday's noise I've got a power pack on it, although I have charged the battery. I'm going to see what it does. Lights come on on these straight away, which is a bugger because it must drain the battery really quickly. Uh, clutching. Then it doesn't sound like a train. A little bit tappy. That's been started, well, since yesterday, when I ran it for 20 seconds. I couldn't take my hand off of there. Look at that. Much better sound. It looks better, obviously, it's a good service. There we go. So, <laughs> I'm just trying to say, some of these exhausts look really good. You need back pressure. If that had, had maybe had a baffle in it, or been half the size, you'd have got probably a nice noise out of it. Now I said to the young lad, I bet you got less miles an hour out of this, and it's true. These I've had before, 70, 80 mile an hour, honestly. Um, in big lads, you're still gonna get good 70 out of these. Um, with that exhaust, you are losing miles an hour, miles per gallon, and the bike just doesn't like starting. And there's proof in the pudding. And I mean, it's only a 10 mil and a 13 mil to get the old exhaust off and the, and the original exhaust back on there. 
What I like to ride, really good. You feel high up. I reckon if you're above five eight to six foot odd, some of the lads are. Definitely get one of these if you're getting a one two five, seventeen year old and above. Um, I do feel sorry for some of the uh, sixteen year old lads out there to get the little peds, and you know they're nine foot tall, you know. And um, this is what they should be riding, you know. But as soon as they get the seventeen year old, great bikes, just keep them serviced. As I said, I've got my new one coming up. Do I show you what I've got? Ah, uh, it's going to be a really good video, USA Jobby. Let's have a quick look. It's horrible outside. Let's have a quick look at what I have. Well, the planes don't stop, do they? It is a Ford F-150 V8 5 litre 302 Windsor engine pickup. Now the paint we're going to miss the nuts. When I do the video, you'll get to see it. Underneath is amazing, but I'm not going to tell you anymore. Mmm, mine. You're going to hear my American cousin on this one. I've been preparing for this for ages. <laughs> I'm going to talk to miles per gallon, trying to get bloody insurance, what they like to drive, things you need to look for. And that is just proper five litre, lovely exhaust system on there. Sounds like a NASCAR when you put your foot down. It is a smile a mile, um, not for your pocket, but enough, okay. I don't care if you like motorbikes, mopeds, touring, sports, cars, wife's S1 that's on here as well. Um, everyone loves a truck. I just think it's naturally built in us. You know, a bit of rough and ready, rugged sort of thing. Um, and it's just slows me down nicely. If I want the power, I've got the motorbikes. It's just so nice just to, oh, stop, stop. Watch the video coming out soon. If it ever stops raining, and gale force winds which it doesn't seem to be doing now in middle of february right there we go happy days watch the other video of this for the look round if you haven't seen it already please take care of yourselves on these roads they're wet slippery and horrible um i've got rid of the rt it was like a camper van and i'm now back on my um, ducati multistrada and the moment i took it out it just rained it looks like i haven't washed it in like a year <laughs> But it handles so much better, and again, it's more fun to ride. You know, someone said to me, Mark, in different language, you're an idiot not riding that bike over the winter. Um, I didn't want to mess up with all the road salt, and we've been very lucky this year not to have it. So there you go. You have heard it running. Happy days. And there is the original exhaust now. I don't think it looks any worse with it on. So scratches, maybe. It's not any worse. Still needs a little bit of work finishing off. The main thing is it runs. And I'm happy. Just on a side note, you might remember Pippi, my little dog, who used to appear in a lot of videos. This is my little homage. Is it homage? Um, well, just saying goodbye to her, really. Forget me not, it's all came around, and I think that's really good. I have, after a long debate. So this is Millie. She's a little Rottweiler. And during my videos, you should be able to see her grow up. She's eight weeks old, and everything's an adventure, including not sleeping at night. But there we go. Say hello. First appearance on TV, eh? Good girl. So that was a quick video. Watch my up and coming ones, especially my 150 with my American cousin. Stop now. The last thing I'm going to say about these little bikes, they're not your Honda Yamaha bomb proof engines, they're not your Yamaha Kakasaki stuff either, Taiwanese, all the other ones. Um, you do need to go round them, okay? Check the bolts, check the brakes. What goes wrong with these? Normal speedo, chain and sprocket, rear brake, you know? They're going to go wrong with these bikes. Not if you keep going round them. Don't think you can just jump on them and ride them and ride them because they will break. Other than that, yeah, great bikes, good bit of speed out of these. Looks a lot big on the road. Just take care of yourself, really. And uh, then you've got this. Didn't even clean the carb, which is something I was going to do. And the young chap that had it before me said, clean the carb out. 
just exhaust. It just shows, doesn't it? Um, so there you go. Right. <laughs> Chatting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe. I think I was going to said it. I'm excited about my truck. And the fact I was right about this. Bye-bye.